hey, you, yeah, you listening to this podcast. Do you want to know how you can make your own? All you have to do is go to anchor.fm slash start. Yep, it's that simple. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now, guess what? Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. So that means you can get paid to podcast right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading you this ad. So make sure you go to anchor.fm slash start to get started making your very own podcast. And then maybe I'll hear you say in this script. Have fun. Speak your truth podcast. It's about being real. It's it's about sharing real stories. It's, 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 it's about sharing our truth. These, 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 these are the stories of the people. People. People of the city of Milwaukee and beyond. This, this is Speak Your Truth Podcast. Right, what's up, y'all? Hey, y'all, OMG. It is so nice to hear my voice um, on the microphone again. It's literally been one month since I've had an episode. So the last episode that I did, it was a, this is 30 episode, the birthday episode in New Orleans where we, um, we got like randomly on the street. We were at Checkers and like this guy came up to us and kind of like gave us a tarot read. And it was scary, but it was kind of tight at the same time. Anyway, um, what's going on? It's just me today, and this is a bonus episode because, first and foremost, it's been a long time coming. We've, I, I've been, we've been busy, and it's my fault that we haven't been recording, but I have some exciting news, so it's some good news and bad news. So, um, we had, y'all haven't been hearing our shows. A lot of people have been, you know, reaching out to Drew, reaching out to Brandon, reaching out to me, when y'all coming back, when y'all coming back, when are y'all doing a show? Finally, 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 we are going to finish out the rest of season six beginning next week. We have episodes lined up. We have photo shoots lined up. Like, we are giving y'all all of us. And we got a drum roll. <laughs> we have a new recording space. Like, where the applause that You just over there eating the nachos. Give me the thing. Let me start up. Let me start my announcement over. Can I have the thing? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not a new space is. It is. No, it's not. Why it ain't? It's a whole business for you, fam. It is. But I wanted to keep it podcast related, but since you want me to gloat. All right. <laughs> he said gloat, nigga. All right. To my listeners out there, first and foremost, still thank you for supporting Speak Your Truth Podcast. And I have been working on a business venture for the past couple of months. And boy, oh boy, when I tell you that literally blood, literally sweat, literally tears, like crying over this business, um, I'm so excited just literally to finally announce that Vanity Box will be open officially on Sunday. And um, wait. I I don't even know where to start to begin, and I don't want to get too much into it because obviously I want the people to come to the grand opening on Sunday, but this space is just really a manifestation of everything that I love. Like, it's a beauty studio, and it's pink. Bless you. (laughs) And it's pink, and um, it's a space where, you know, community is going to definitely be fostered, but the vision behind Vanity Box was A, to expand my product into a store is a lot of people like to pick up their orders and there's no issue with that, but you don't want to have a lot of traffic coming to your house. So I started Vanity Box to um, have a storefront. So definitely you'll be able to come in whenever we're open. So I will definitely be posting our hours after Sunday, but my customers can buy online and they can pick up in store or you can stop in store. So Either or, I wanted to be able to provide an outlet for my customers to come and get my products. Second, uh, when I'm able, so like I opening a business, like that's a different type of broke, but we're going to get into that later. So, um, that's an by itself. right, that's an episode by itself. <laughs> Whew. So I've been looking like a toe these past few months, but it's it's been a beautiful process. I'm 
if you know me, you know I always like to get my hair done, my nails done, my everything done. So I have literally sacrificed every single thing, every single dollar, and I put it into this business to make it something that I love. Now I have a space where I can go get my hair and my nails and my makeup done. So the beauty part of it is I'm employing other black, Latino, LGBT creatives in the community to come and work for that space. So we have an in-house makeup artist. We have an in-house nail tech. And I am... Milwaukee hairstylists and Milwaukee braiders and Milwaukee barbers. I don't know how many barbers would want to work somewhere that's pink, but if you are, come on and join us. So um, I definitely wanted to offer dry bar, dry bar services in there. So you can definitely book services at the grand opening on Sunday with my girls. Get your makeup done. Get your nails done. If you know someone that does hair or if you want to rent out one of my chairs temporarily, please inbox me. Let me know. And then finally, so here's the big announcement. Okay, you ready? You got to, um, I'm finna drop the bomb. We have a brand new recording space at my business. So the rest of this episode is going to be um, recorded at Vanity Box. So Vanity Box is located right off of 76 in Silver Spring. Um, official address is 5401 North 76th Street, and we are in Suite 11. And... I'm also excited to announce that I partnered up with my homeboy here and um, we're going to have a few other podcasts come over and join us because TDR Network has grown. If you have been in the Sherman Phoenix studio, you have seen all of the shows and the pictures that are up on the wall and we need more space. And uh, Tone is actually the reason like how I found the space and how I got the space. So excuse you. Yeah, do you know? How, wait, I mean, I'm not saying that your words weren't of wisdom, but do you know how many people I've said that I wanted to quit? And it's, and I guess this, this is how I know that it was meant for me to do this because, you know, I've had other business before, um, but I kind of merged those into this. So I'm still gonna do events. I'm still gonna do podcasting. But I'm like, some of those businesses couldn't sustain on their own. And when I said I was ready to quit, I quit. But with this. I, I said it, I'm like, oh, I want to quit, this is too much, but then it's like, you just can't, because it's like, dang, I came this far, so you go a little further, and it's like, you know, like, damn, I want to quit, and it's like, nah, like, you get through an obstacle, like, it, yeah, and it's like, it's hard, like, a lot of people like to post the end result of having a business, but I, you always know to speak your truth, I love to be raw, I love to be honest, and it's like, Getting to the end result was a struggle. Like not having, um, if you, I would say, if I didn't have the support system that I didn't have, and all of the donations from y'all with the Facebook businesses, with the gifts that I received, I literally probably wouldn't be able to do this. And I'm like, I learned to. People like to say that they got places just solely by themselves, like just all by themselves, like. And that's not the case. And it's like one of the things that I did learn is that yes. People sometimes they'll offer help, but they they just want to be supportive, but they may not know how to help you. But I'm like, I didn't get here by myself. Like, dead ass. Like, if you wouldn't have told me about the space, if people wouldn't have donated to me, if people wouldn't give me things from Instagram, if people, you know, like my cousins and my sisters, I was calling y'all at like three and four in the morning saying, I want to get this up, that I can't do this, this ain't gonna work. What if what if this don't happen? I need to find it. Like Man, look, I'm going to cry. Hey, Trees, I see all the love. I love you, girl. What? Oh, my God. The jump, though, Tom. Because, okay, let me. I know. So let me tell y'all about this jump. <laughs> so. I literally, if you know me again, I always walk around with my sketch notepad. And that notepad is like my manifestation book. So anything that I put in that book is going to come to life. Like, it's going to happen. So I'm like, I want a store, and I want to do makeup, and I want to do nails, and I want to do this, I want to do that. And Tone literally called me. I put it on Facebook one day. I'm like, um, you know, I'm looking for a space. Anybody know of a space? And Tone was like, hey, I got this one space. And I went to go look at it, and I just, I just felt something in me. Like, I had the vision, and I'm like... 
this is it. So it's just amazing to see, like, the transformation for where it came from to what it is now. And it, it really does make me want to cry because I'm like, damn, like, I did this. Yes, like, I did this shit. Like, I had people believe in me. And I'm like, what if I'm not ready to make this jump? What if the business don't make the money? What if I don't sell products no more? Like, is this my time to, like, start this business? And then um, the hardest part is, like, getting people to buy into me. So, like, one of my faults is I definitely need to be posting more videos and telling y'all about my process and my struggle and my everything. Um, I just kind of been running, 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 running. I haven't been sharing the process with y'all, but I have definitely be, definitely been prayed up. I've had a number of blessings. I thank God for my friends, um, my cousin. Like, man, y'all, woof. Y'all, I just, I can't wait. So I, I really hope I see y'all at the grand opening Sunday. Yes, cousin, you told me you was going to do it. And you, t yep. Um, yeah, yeah. She, I, I, I want to quit a lot. And a lot of people tell me that I'm hard on myself or, like, I'm not pacing myself. But I'm like, I just be wanting to be successful, like, right now instead of being patient and enjoying the process. So I actually had to take a step back and... I connected myself with a lot of people. I asked a lot of advice. I did a lot of research. Um, and you unlock a set of skills that you didn't know you had. Now, I'm not a confrontational person, but and you got to be a shark in business. When they tell you that you have to be a shark, like, they not lying. That's another lesson that I learned is be a shark because – I don't take shit laying down no more when it comes to my business. Like, it, it's always something to be negotiated. So if you tell me I got to pay this price, I'm going to figure out how to pay less than that. So that's another skill that I learned is, like, willing and dealing, making things work for me, out for my best interest. And then just, like, man, I had a lot of jobs, y'all. <laughs> like, I had a lot of jobs, and I hated every single last job, and I wanted to create something that I can kind of step away from my job and do full time. But with the good, I definitely say comes the bad. Um, I have been through up and down and left and right and around and around emotionally. I have gone through periods of depression with this business. I was angry with this business. I was, and then I have to keep reminding myself, like, ain't nobody making me do this. Like, nobody is putting a gun to my head and saying, Alicia, you got to do this business. You got to open a store. You got to do this. And it's like, man, <laughs> it got tough mentally because if something doesn't happen or if something doesn't go right or sometimes you do count all your chickens before they hatch and it's like damn like you always have to strategize or have a plan b plan c so going to therapy through this time because i'm going through a lot of transition this shit is new it's a lot of new responsibility it's a lot of new everything so i have to learn a whole new set of skills and like it definitely dry, gives you anxiety so my anxiety definitely heightened during this time but i could definitely say though like i could see the light at the end of the tunnel now so i really want y'all to come to my grand opening i know a lot of y'all have been reaching out to me um and I, I apologize to some of my friends. I've been extremely busy. Uh, like, I have a lot of friends that's traveling for their birthdays or they did stuff for their birthday. I had to miss stuff. I had to not go to parties. I had to see y'all kicking it in Phoenix. Like, <laughs> and I'm here doing inventory and painting. Like, Atlanta, Houston. Like, I couldn't do nothing this summer. Like, I, I could do absolutely nothing. Like, I couldn't even go to Starbucks and get coffee no more. Every single dollar counted. My nails ain't been done, and I don't know how long. I've been wearing my natural hair for I don't know how long, but I it it feels, how do you say, like, I, yeah, I, I just feel like all the seeds that I've been planting is really getting ready to come back with a vengeance. I dropped some dead weight. I got my head on, like, right. So I really want y'all to come support this Sunday from 2 to 6, 5401 North uh, 76th Street, right off of Silver Spring. And I got some good-ass giveaway prizes. You want to hear the giveaway? You ain't even paying attention. Anyway, listeners. I'm trying to pay you. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
I have a mini refrigerator, so come up there. You can win a mini refrigerator. You can also win one of my glam bags. So you get a pink glam bag, and it'll be stuffed with a bonnet. It'll be stuffed with hand sanitizer tissue. It'll be a fully loaded glam bag, and you can enter your name to win that. Also, I have some earbuds that I'm giving away and lots of other private prizes. You can sign up for free service or different services with the nail techs, with the makeup artists. And I'm going to have a ton of sales, like just a ton of sales. Look, I could not like small wins. I want, I want to end this episode on a high note. Being able to say like, and this is so small, being able to stay, pick up, or available online and in store. Like, do you know like how much of a, a big deal that is? Like <laughs> being like celebrating small wins like that, being able to say like in store only or online only, like, damn, like I really got a fucking store. Like, what? <laughs> Are you serious? So for those who said I couldn't do it or wouldn't do it or who tried to hate on me, thank you because I'm here. And I stand here because of you. You fueled my ambition to keep going. I want to say thank y'all to my listeners to the live um, for supporting me through Vanity Cosmetics Lipwear. But I want y'all to definitely stay on this train for Speak Your Truth podcast because now that we are back, we are going to come back stronger than ever. We have some new material. We have new questions. We have new events that we're doing. Y'all know that taco truck. Uh, we're going to be recording over there. We're going to do a live episode at the space. So there's so much in store. So... Apparently, we're hosting a game not in August. Depend like you better let me know that date so I can put it in my calendar. But thank you for supporting us. I will see y'all soon. I love y'all.